Thank you very much, Joe. First off, congratulations, Kevin, on that victory versus the Copenhagen Wolves. Let's break it down from the beginning. Picks and bans, late game components in both teams, and you going for your one and true love, of course, Aurelia. Yeah, so uh, pick and bans went how we thought about it. Um, we got what we want to, and I think we, we, we kind of figured out what they want to play. Um, we banned the Twitch, so Vulai is a strong player on, on Twitch, and um, we predicted that we will go for, for Kogma, so we went instant for the just full engage hum comp. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Irelia. Um, this game, I was more like food, but um, I wasn't a carry, but uh, at least I'm my champion. I'm happy yeah. to say that because I was going to say, not the strongest performance exactly. we've seen from you, Kevin. I do want to ask, why Irelia in this game? Trundle was up, we've seen the Jax was banned away. So what's the thought process in your head and in Millennium's head as to what goes, now I can play Irelia? All right, so they had um, Twisted Fate, Trash, and a lot of CC overall. So um, a lot of slows, a lot of stuff like that. So I was just like, um, okay, I have Shivana in case, uh, but I, I don't feel too good right now on her. I feel I don't have uh, impact. Like, I, like um, um, Young Buck did here, he jumped in and died. So I feel the same, so I take a bit um, distance from her a bit. So um, yeah, Irelia, just my favorite pick, and I'm always safe even when I'm three levels behind like this game. Um, I will still go aggressive. I will still go hum, yeah, because I, I just know that I can survive and I know the limits of the champion. Absolutely not the best early game for you, but we see that impact you can make in team fights, and we actually have a, an example of one of those team fights that look, lined up for you guys. You can pull that replay up on the screen, and you can walk us through the specifics of playing Irelia. So 29 minutes in, you guys are very far ahead, 8,000. This is one of the team fights where you actually had quite a nice play. So talk me through what the communication was like. I can see you in the bottom lane starting to rejoin. So let's roll this clip out and talk me about your communication, your yeah. decision making. So here we already kind of knew um, uh, Evelyn is behind us and she already engaged instantly with TF. We didn't expect the tier faulty, but immediately um, I tried to TP and help. And the call was just to kill the front line. Um, they peeled perfectly for Shivana. I could just freely attack whoever I wanted, and um, that was basically it. Like we wanted to peel for the for for Ziggs because he was just super strong, um, and uh, Kraton had just amazing yeah, positioning there, so he was no danger at all. And um, yeah, we could just turn it around. It, it worked out very well. You guys got control of the game and never let go. I've got a question about Kerp on Ziggs in particular. Do you guys, as a team, play a lot around Ziggs? Because it seems like when Kerp is on Ziggs. Millennium plays at a higher level than when Kerp is not on Ziggs. Um, I, I don't think we play more about Ziggs. It's just that if he plays Ziggs, he farms a ton. Like, uh, he, he roams really good. He does the, the, the bombs to help out the, the lanes in case they three-man push or four-man push. Um, I think overall, I don't think we support him too much in mid lane. Uh, of you course, don't need to. <laughs> exactly, we don't need to. Like he's just overall a super strong player on it, and he—I don't know why—but he has the potential to kill even one v one. So, um, on, on other champions, it's a bit different because uh, other champions have, of course, high, higher risk and higher reward. So Zix is a just safe pick, and if Kerb plays on a safe and aggressive champion as well, so then it's—he's just really strong. Well, let's actually stay, take another step back because, of course, you guys coming in here week one, three and one, all the hype for Millennium. Create on saying how he's fast, this newfound uh, enjoyment of the game. So, what happened between then and, and the weeks after where you guys haven't performed at that level? So, um, after week one, we felt good. We felt really good. Um, but already in the scrims, we, we felt uh, that the other teams improved really fast. Um, they, they managed to fix their, their, their rotations, the level ones, and the swaps really good, uh, which we didn't at that point. So that was basically the, the, the key why we lost a lot of games like that uh, in week two. Um, we had, yeah, basically we had struggles to, 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 to fix the problems we had with the rotations. Um, we still have. Um, we still have to work on that. And um, yeah, if, if we can fix that, I don't know. We were just... So as a final question, you guys seem to have the ability to just destroy yeah. when you hit everything. Um, but you have lost a couple of games. So if we compare Millennium now with Cotnex in the jungle to Millennium with RNA in the jungle from the spring split, what is the mood and the feeling like in the team? Are you panicking that the same thing may happen, that if you don't fix things properly now, you may face a promotion tournament again? Um, so right now, of course, it's a bit of pressure because we are losing a lot and um, scrims didn't went too well as well. So, um, but we, we try to keep, to keep a cool head. Uh, we, we know what we do wrong. The thing is just we don't have an exact person who just tells us how to fix it and um, 
yeah, how, uh, basically how to fix it. We, we see our problems, but we cannot just uh, teach ourselves that, that fast. So um, I think that's, that's the most important part, why we are not that strong yet and uh, why we can't compete with such as KN or Alliance. Um, but the future will tell. We hope we can face them and destroy them as well. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Kevin, as for us, we're going to go into a short break. But when we come back, what a matchup we have lined up. The super hot crew as they take on Alliance. We'll be back in three and a half.